Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, I think I just spit on my mic. Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today we're doing my next update for my HP Project Pan. This project was created by the wonderful Christina Chang here on YouTube, and this is the second year we are doing this pan project together, and it is really open to anyone who wishes to participate. So I will have Christina's original video linked down below, as well as the Google document she created listing everyone who is currently participating in the 2020 version. I also have my entire playlist from when I did this project last year. I'll throw it up in the cards if you'd like to binge watch that, and then I'll also have linked the current playlist, the 2020 playlist as well. So I've made a little bit of progress and I I feel like I think I realized what I have to do in order to like make some more progress moving forward. So I'm just going to jump straight into my projects, projects, products. <laughs> um, let's say first things first, I don't really have a whole lot of progress with my Natasha Denona palette just because like I already hit my goal. So now anything over this is just kind of extra. So this is how my palette is looking now. I currently have pan in the four shades that were my goal for this project. And then I did point out, um other shades that I would like to hit pan on, but that's more of a nice to have and not really a need to have. So like I said, I've already hit my goal on this palette, which is still fantastic. Like I'm really happy that I was able to get use out of a Natasha palette and hit pan and have so much fun with it. But I feel like in order for me to make more progress on the other palette that I'm severely neglecting in this project, I kind of want to take a step back from this one. I did mention that I wanted to keep using it and not like neglect it, but I'm kind of going back on that because I really am focusing more on this when I already hit my goal for this one. So what I, I think I'm going to do for the next month, um, and just for the next month until this next update goes up, I want to just put this back into my eyeshadow palette collection and just take a, a slight break from it. I do this every now and then. Like with my Pan That palette, I did take a break from it kind of in the middle of the project, which is kind of where we are for this project now. I think we're right about the halfway point because this does go until December. But I want to just put it to the side because I've been keeping all these products in my everyday makeup basket. So kind of my go-to whenever I wanted a green look or anything, I would automatically go for the Natasha palette and not reach for my other palettes that were in my everyday makeup basket. So I feel like just to get uh, at least used to reaching for this palette and for other palettes, I kind of just want to put the green brown palette to the side for a little bit. That being said, um, I haven't really made much progress in my collab palette. Let's just zoom in. So this is the collab palette. As you can see, not really much difference at all from the last time, uh, from the last update. The only decision that I've made is I really do want to try to focus on these two green shades. I am wearing the matte green shade today as a deepening in my crease, um, but I'm not wearing the shimmer shade. So I do want to focus moving forward on these two green shades because I realized I just had so much fun playing with green shades, especially since my Pan That palette is so warm and neutral. I, I, I really liked the break of doing like nice green looks, just the smoky looks. I love that so much. So that those are the two shades that I do want to focus on. And I feel like once I move the Natasha palette out of my everyday makeup basket, I will have more time and I'll have more attention to focus on this palette as well. So that's the update for the two palettes. Let's move into the two loose shadows that I have, which are two loose shadows from Geek Chic Cosmetics. Of course, we have this light green shade in See You Space Cowboy, and then we have a dark green matte with some shimmer in it that is called Evil Lurks. My goal for this project is to use each shade 40 times before December 13th, which is the end of this project. And so far, I just hit the halfway point with Evil Lurks. I've used it 21 times. And then for CU Space Cowboy, I just finished uh, the 13th use. So again, I feel like this shade I could kind of sort of dupe out with the Natasha palette. So again, I feel like once I remove that palette, I really want to focus on these, like the two loose shadows and then this, because I think I can get some really pretty looks just by combining these together. And I never really did it because I was focusing so much on the Natasha palette. So again, I, I have no issue with Evil Lurks, the darker shade, because it's just like a beautiful dark green. It's almost like a matte black once I blend it out. So like, see this darkest shade out here? That's Evil Lurks. And it just works perfectly with no matter what kind of green look, even if I'm doing like a neutral look, it's got like a slight green undertone to it, but it's like almost black. So it works perfectly for like liner, for like deepening up the outer V. I can literally use it anytime, <laughs> anywhere. So the fact that I'm already halfway done, I think I'm going to be just fine, especially as we're moving into fall. Um, with CU Space Cowboy, it is a lighter green shade, and it's 
I think it's supposed to be a shimmer, but once once I use either of these shades on an actual eyeshadow brush, they come out looking matte on the eye for the most part, or like satin-y. So I think um, I'll have to just be more mindful about that shade and to bring that out for like a transition or for a lower lash line instead of reaching for maybe other shades in palettes that might be nearby because it wasn't until like for the darker shade evil lurks I would get to the point where I want a dark shade and I'd be like oh yeah so I should grab this shade but when I was looking for a transition I would already like have it done before I realized I still had this in my collection right so I, I want to not well yeah train myself a little bit to remember to reach for this as a green transition as opposed to reaching for whatever is in my palettes and I do think it is going to be a bit easier once we use this collab palette more because this is already kind of a dark shade this isn't like a really transitiony shade it's more of a like darkening shade <laughs> For the look today, I'm wearing a really light shade from the Natasha palette. Let me grab it real quick. So I used this shade as my main transition all the way up here. And then I deepened my crease with this green shade. You can see it right here. And then I finished the look by deepening it up with the Evil Lurk shade. So I feel like moving forward a really pretty green look would probably be using this one as my main transition deepening it up in the crease with this shade and then finishing up the outer view of this shade so that's kind of gonna be my goal to use that look at least a couple of times all right so last but not least let's talk about the last product which is the highlighter and i actually like i wasn't like really super like focusing on this i mean i was using reaching for the highlighter just about every day but i wasn't expecting to see so much progress already <laughs> So here is the highlighter. This is the Becca Highlighter in Royal Glow. And as you can see, the imprint is totally gone. And I've slowly but surely been whittling away the product. So it's definitely a lot thinner than it was. Like I can see like this product towards the edge right there is so thin. It's just coming away now every time I use the product. And I love this highlighter so much. And I honestly, I, I might finish this before the end of the project, guys. So I've been using this highlighter, like I said, just about daily. I'm wearing it today. And this one, it's a bit easier to kind of go on autopilot and like use this because it's a highlighter. It's a bit easier than like keeping track of like eyeshadows trying to pan, you know? But I, I love this highlighter. It is one of my favorite highlighters of all time. And honestly, I, I looking at this now and seeing the progress that I've been able to make finally, I probably am gonna finish this before the end of the project, which is incredible. Which would mean that like in this project, I will have finished two full, two full highlighters. When before here, before this project, I had not finished a single highlighter ever. That's very exciting. Very, very exciting. So anyway, uh, I feel like this was the one that takes like the least amount of mental energy because I can just reach for a highlighter and put it on every day and just kind of like I've got that autopilot on, right? And it's showing like I've got so much progress and honestly, I'm excited to finish it. <laughs> So that is everything for this update for the HP Project Pan 2020. Let me know down below if you're participating in this project and how your goals are currently going and how you're feeling now that we're basically at the halfway point. Thank you guys so much for watching and I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Bye.